Well, a highly anticipated project decades in the making is coming to life. Reamer will soon provide hundreds of students a brand new learning environment. Our Brenda Mack has a story. Heart heads on, shovels up. We're going to build a new school. The excitement was contagious. It was very emotional. This day has been a long-awaited vision for the small town of Reamer and surrounding communities. They started 20 to 25 years ago working on referendums and they just have failed and failed and failed. It was very important to us that this gets done. We knew this was probably our last chance. Both Reamer Elementary and Northland High School are the district's only schools, bringing students from Longville, Outing, Federal Dam and Boy River. This hallway's been this way since 19-whenever. For more than 50 years, the school stayed the same with little improvements made over the years. Let's go in the boys' locker room because that's disgusting. That whole wall back there ends up being with mold because of all the moisture. The building's deteriorating condition alerted a change that had to be made. When it comes down to it, when there's a threat of you losing your community school, people pull together and they realize how important the school, it's the heart of the community. After holding 53 community meetings and two elections. Now they'll come into a building that'll be set for technology, that'll have everything that everybody else has. The $26 million project include building a brand new school and remodeling some roofs, flooring, and installing new plumbing. Hopefully we'll bring in new kids. It'd probably be nice to play sports with more than uh, 10 people on a team. <laughs> I just want a new school and then I hope we have a new playground. Just bye bye. <laughs> and what school officials are most excited for is next Tuesday when construction will officially begin. In Reamer, Brenda Mack, Lincoln News. And construction of the new school is expected to be complete by August of next year. In the meantime, some renovation work will be done in the older buildings. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.